Welcome to our lecture online. Now, if we have a transversal crossing two lines, those lines don't have to be parallel, they can be non-parallel, as long as they are coplanar, then we have four different angle relationships. Now, only if the two lines are parallel to one another do we have significance, special significance to those relationships, but nevertheless, we should know the four different kinds of relationships formed by these transversals. First of all, we have what we call corresponding angles. Notice that in this case, angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding. We also have what we call alternate interior angles. So there's four interior angles. These are called alternate interior angles. These are just examples. There's more of them. There's more examples we can come up with, but I just want to show you some examples. Here we have what we call alternate exterior angles. So the interior angles are in between the lines, the exterior angles are outside the two lines. So 1 and 8 would be considered alternate exterior angles. And finally, we have what we call consecutive interior angles. So 4 and 6 here would be considered consecutive interior angles. Again, interior angles means these angles or these angles. Those are what we call the consecutive interior angles. So we need to understand and be able to recognize corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, and consecutive interior angles. And now we're going to learn the special significance of those. Maybe first what we should do is figure out how many of each type there are, and then we'll learn the special significance when the two lines that the, that the transversals cross are indeed parallel. So stay tuned and we'll show you what that looks like.